Welcome back. And now we have the interview with a second special guest, Miss Curtis. She is a very great dom parents, and the interview this time is not in my room, but it's in her apartment. Hi, Miss Curtis. Thank you very much for being in the show today in the special episode. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, William. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Um, this is a very nice apartment, and I have some certain questions for you. Are you okay with it? Yes. So, when did you start living in the dorm? I moved into the dorm this summer. And how do you like it? I love it. It's great. That's awesome. And what makes you decide to become a dorm parent? Uh, I chose to become a dorm parent because I think it's a great opportunity for a single mom. It's a good job, and I wanted to be more involved in the residential program here. That's awesome. So, I bet you love it. I do. Um, I'm a little bit curious. What is the role of a dorm parent? The dorm parent's role. Um, mostly, we need to help make sure that the kids are safe. So there, we have to check in, make sure that students check in, check out, so we know where they are. But also a resource if somebody needs something. Mm. Very important role, especially for teenagers. Right? Yes. Yep. So what is the best feeling of being a dorm parent that you have ever experienced? Oh, um, I like watching the kids interact with each other, and um, I like seeing the friendships and the bonds and. Because I live up here on the third floor, sometimes I can just watch from my window, watch games, watch open turf, and just seeing the kids interact. That's awesome. Um, what about the biggest challenge? The biggest challenge for me is staying up late at night. So bedtime on the weeknights is 10.30 and on the weekends is 11.30 and that is late for me. So what time do you often go to bed? I usually go to bed at 9.30 and then I get up early in the morning. Hmm. That doesn't sound like a good choice for me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So as far as I remember, you are also a math teacher at Lincoln Academy. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. Uh, so how do you think about the math curriculum at Lincoln Academy? I think we have a really good math curriculum at Lincoln Academy. We have a wide variety of classes, uh, a very big range, all the way from pre-algebra up through calculus BC. That's awesome. So is there any opportunities for students who are interested in math and explore more? Yes. Uh, we have math team. And you can get math tutors, you could be a math tutor. Um, we've had some kids do independent studies, um, yep. and so there's other opportunities. That's perfect. What is your favorite food? My favorite food, I like steamed clams. Mm. And this year I was introduced to a new food that I really like, Vietnamese pho. Vietnamese pho. Yeah. You love the Vietnamese pho in America. Yes. So have you got an idea of coming to Vietnam to taste the real pho there? Yeah, I was thinking of coming to Vietnam this summer. This summer? Yeah. So I may change my plan not to come back to Vietnam this summer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I will have a little bit harder questions for you. Okay. Are you up for it? Yeah. Alright. Who is the most good looking student at Lincoln Academy? <laughs> Students are good looking at Lincoln Academy. Can you repeat the answer? <laughs> All the students are good looking at Lincoln Academy. Great, it's not the correct answer. <laughs> Alright, so now to have the audience get a bit more advice from you and your relationship master skills, I have some certain questions for you. Okay. If a person A have crush on person B, what is the best way person A approach person B? <laughs> Um, person A should be confident in themselves and they should be themselves. Hmm. Only confident? Confident, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you guys, if you are having crush on someone, be confident. Um, another question. Chicken exists first or egg exists first? <laughs> the chicken. The chicken. Yes. There's no right or wrong answer for this one. Okay. So congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And I think that question also wraps up the conversation between me and you today. Thank you very much for a great chat today and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you. And good luck in your career and get your doctor degree. Thank yes. you very much Thank for you being very here. Much. Thank See you. you. And the conversation with Miss Curtis also wrap up the second list and I show with William Duan today. I hope you guys really enjoy it and please Click the subscribe button for more videos coming up in the future. If you have any feedbacks or comments, please contact me. Thank you very much for watching the show today and see you at 7pm next Saturday.